I call Alfred Nuttall. I move that the question be now put. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Dr. Megan Wood. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I appreciate the chance to take a call on this, on this part four of this legislation, which is yet another amendment from my colleague Phil Twyford that is um, with the aim of um, making of putting some provisions into this legislation to make housing affordability. And Mr Chairman, this is a reasonably um, simple amendment um, that uh, contains a number of clauses um, that, that, and amendments to the um, income tax of 2007. And it, what it does is that it amends a number of clauses in the income act text to, from two to five. And Mr Chairman, this may not seem like a, a large measure, but it is a very important measure. And the reason why the, the amendment is from two to five years um, throughout all the clauses in this amendment that Phil Twyford has put up is because that is um, a, a period of time that actually may make an impact. So when the original um, legislation that was put through under urgency, under budget urgency <coughs> that um, Mr Twyford's amendment is seeking to amend was put through, it was done so in haste. And it was yet another Band-Aid type approach to housing that we have become accustomed to see from this government. Now, Mr Speaker, what the government did have at the time, however, was, a, was Treasury advice that in order for the Bright Line test to actually make a difference and to do something in terms of um, cracking down on speculation that it did need to be for a period of at least five years. This is not something that the government listened to. Because instead of making the real kind of changes that may do something, about making housing more affordable and cracking down on housing speculation as, well, as could have been the outcome of what the government did. Instead, they went for the half measure. They, well, the quarter measure, as my colleague beside me, um, Chris Farfoy, may, may say. A that A measure, I will leave it at that, Mr Farfoy, that they did not go and put in place a provision that may have made a real impact. Instead, we had this. Now, if you have a look at the advice that the government did have at the time, and my colleague Grant Robertson has spoken on this in his um, earlier contraception, he spoke and at the time um, that this was put through that, um, if nothing but consistent, Mr Robertson, that you have been speaking about this for a period of time. Because it wasn't just Treasury that slammed the idea of making this provision only two years, that actually a number of tax and legal experts did at the time as well. And it's by reading through this, which has led my colleague Mr Twyford to put up this amendment, to actually bring into this piece of legislation that we're here in the House some provisions that would mean that the Bright Line test would crack down on speculation, it would do something around making housing more affordable, and it would do that. Because if you look at the modelling um, that Treasury did back in 2010, which is really the only, um, the only modelling that we could find that, w that, um, that could be used, that you can see the very minuscule impact that the government's decision to limit this to two years um, actually was going to have on the problem. Because based on that 2010 modelling, John Key and this government's bright line test was only likely to impact a maximum of 1,000 of the nearly 80,000 house sales each year and raise just over $18 million. Now, this is just window dressing. This is a government pretending that it's doing something about what is clearly a crisis in this country, and that is housing affordability. It had the opportunity to do something real. It had the opportunity to do something sus substantive. But is that an opportunity that this government chose to take? Mr Chairman, unfortunately it isn't. Instead, what it has taken is this, this amendment from my colleague um, Phil Twyford that goes through these provisions of the 
Income Act, to, income Act um, and makes the, that change from the two to five years. It is a significant set of amendments that, may, that will mean that the Bright Line test may actually do what it should have done in the first place, and that is crack down on speculation. And cracking down on speculation, actually doing something to address the problem, would actually cut to the core of addressing the real issue that we have to address, and that is housing affordability. Nothing in the bill that the government has brought to this House addresses the issue of housing affordability. It has taken amendments from this side of the House yeah. to do that.